The wider analysis bandwidth is becoming incredibly important to characterize the next generation of your cellular communication devices. Hi, my name is Paris Akshi, the product marketing manager for signal analyzers at Keystar Technologies. Now today, I wanna to show you a demo of how our Pathway VSA software can help you quickly and easily perform your 5G NR modulation analysis. You can launch this application directly through our new N9032B or N9042B signal analyzers 40% faster than previous signal analyzer generation thanks to the new CPU in this unit or you can easily download the free trial version and play around on your own without a need to equipment. Let's have a quick look. All right, so this here is my signal. If I go to the measurement setup under the measurement type, I can go to the cellular and then pick my 5G and R. And for today's purpose, I wanna show you more panels. So uh, I'll go and pick the two by three to show you six panels here. All right. Now, um, this one here is my signal that includes the SSPBCH, um, PDCCH, and 3PDSCH. The period here is five milliseconds, and the software is spacing is 30 kilohertz. Now, if you look at the top left, this one here is my constellation diagram that shows different modulation formats for different channels and signals. So if you look at your frame summary table here, that tells you the list of the channels as well as the modulation formats. So from the constellation diagram, you can determine and troubleshoot your distortion errors. And when you combine that with the EVM, you can get further insight about these distortions and how to fix them for the best um, performance here in the, in the signal. Now the 5G and R demodulation also supports filtering for your channel. If you go to the measurement setup all the way down to the 5G and R demod properties, you'll see under the configuration, depending on what link you are picking, downlink, uplink, you'll see a list of channels. And if you go to the results and filters, you have the option to filter some of those. You also have the option to decide which ones you want to include in your EVM measurements or you want to exclude. All right, going back here and now moving to the second panel, this is a summary table that gives you lots of information about your 5G and R modulation analysis. So basically um, about power, EVM, phase error, frequency, and much more. So I have explained most of these parameters in my digital demodulation demo, if you're interested to learn more, but for today, I'll just discuss some of them here. The most important one is the EVM. So EVM shows the RMS of the error vector magnitude of all of the included channels and signals in your measurement. So again, um, you have options to include or exclude any of the channels that you like here. Now the frequency error is another one that gives you average uh, you know, frequency error of the data in your measurement. And by looking at that, you can find out if you have any offset from your center frequency setting. If you look at your IQ offset, for example, you get information about the magnitude of your carrier feed through, which typically exists if your center carrier, which is supposed to be filtered out, all of a sudden leaks into your signal. You have option to look at your IQ gain imbalance, which tells you how much amplifier gain imbalance exists between your I and Q. And you can look at some other parameters and get more information as we go down the list. So again, the bottom line here is that this is a great opportunity to look at a summary of everything that's happening and get an immediate clue about what is happening, what is causing what in your signal. Now moving all the way to the right, this is a three-dimensional representation of the resource element power for the reference component carrier. So basically you have your measurement symbols on the x-axis, the careers are on the y, and the power is on the z. So you have option to look at those, analyze them further, rotate them, zoom them, and do anything you want with this panel. Moving down um, to the left, this is a spectrum, again, great tool to constantly monitor what's happening in your signal. Um, the one in the middle is your 5G and R error vector spectrum. So this shows you the symbol and soft carrier EVM versus soft carrier frequency and the symbol time for your component carrier. 
and you have the option to pick anything using a marker here let's just pick one point here the bar that shows up here it gives you lots of information about what it is for example this on my marker is on the South Korea 108 um, on the what channel is it? Is it PD SCH2 and with a QAM 256 modulation type on the symbol 274 also from here you can get information basically about uh, this one here the EVM value for this point as well as the next one is your average over the resource elements for the South Korea the white line here gives us information about the RMS average South Korea EVM for all of your South Koreas and symbols in this measurement and finally, moving all the way to the right, this is a frame summary trace, which shows you the reference component carriers, EVM, and power, modulation format, or the number of resource blocks that are occupied for individual channels and signals that are present in your measurement interval. So if you're excited to perform your own 5G and R modulation analysis using a fast, accurate, and straightforward VSA software, don't wait any longer. Download the free trial version today and start your own journey. Thank you for watching.